Hello there. I have finally found the perfect metal rods to make carving tools out of. When my son was changing his windshield wipers, I used the old ones and I just break them and take out the metal rods that are inside. They are really tough and hard to break, but they bend really well. So these are perfect to make carving tools for clay and ceramics, etc. First of all, I bend it many times so it breaks and then I file the edges so I get the shape that I want for my carving tool. I use a small file to grind the edges, but you can also use, of course, sanding paper or something like that. I want my edges to be sharp, so they cut really nicely into the clay. After that, I just use pliers to bend my tool into the shape that I want it to be. You can of course also use round pliers to get nice round shapes, but uh, I made three with these pointy edges. I will only show you how I make one. Next up, I have to drill a hole big enough to fit. So, I use a piece of wood, drill a hole and try to get it in the middle. And after that, I just try it out so that it fits perfectly. I also need to secure the whole thing. For that, I need a piece of wire. I cut a piece of wire long enough. And sometimes, when you have wire, you may have uh, all kinds of dents and crooks on it. So, just by uh, dragging the wire against a piece of wood like this, it will straighten out and be perfect. Glue is the second thing. The glue I use is a two component glue and when this one dries it will be really hard and that's good because it needs to be strong. So I mix it just with a match and after that I have about 10 minutes to put it in before it sets. First of all, some glue inside of the hole. I push the whole piece inside and I also attach the piece of wire into the hole. Then it's time to start bending the wire around the piece of wood and I go all the way upwards again to the beginning point. This part is a little bit tricky, but uh, just hold it with your thumb and uh, turn around all the time. It will be perfect. There are many different ways to secure it afterwards, but I use glue, the same glue as I used before. So I put a little bit of glue on the wood and uh, when I'm finished with everything, I also 
put a little bit more glue to the whole thing. When everything has dried in about five hours, I will cut the extra piece of wire away. These are now my three different carving tools and they have been drying for a day. Time to try them out. I must say I really love them. They feel exactly like the ones you buy in the stores. So if you don't want to buy them, you want to save the environment, please use your windshield wipers and make yourself the ones you need. Thanks so much for watching. I hope to see you again. Bye bye.